Dr. Dennis Cross! Outfit of the day. I am wearing this bodysuit I got from J Lux Label, and then these jeans I got them from Pretty Little Things. So, I don't know from Fashion Nova. They're so 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 cute. And then I am wearing these shoes I got from Zara. I normally wouldn't come in here with my shoes, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. And then I did wear this tote bag that I got from the convention that I was at in Vegas. And then I just have my Louis bag my husband got me. So let's head on out because my friend is waiting for me. too sweet i am meeting up with my friend um we're gonna be here because i have some emails that i have to get to i have a meeting um today and i also am gonna be typing some stuff so um i have my hair in the clip but i took it out um i just got here i am running a bit behind on time but that's because i was like i was i was doing my makeup because i have to take pictures for this company um called cuckoo i have to take pictures for them today uh, and we're going to church because um, they have marriage night every, they have marriage night today. So um, I'm gonna be going today and then tomorrow is discipleship. So that should be fun. We're gonna go in and hopefully she's not too upset with me. Cause I did, the, I did take my thought. It was irritating cause like I recorded and my camera has a slow-mo um, function on it it recorded me in slow-mo but i'm not gonna be too mad i'm having a, a fantastic day and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let that affect me so hope you guys are having a good day um we're about to go in right now because i know she's been waiting for me <laughs> Hey y'all, I just finished with my meeting, it went good, 
I was able to like send out all the emails but I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do but I mean not everything I wanted to do but I'm gonna be okay I might have head to the mall Ugh. right now I'm gonna go to Zara because I want to see what they have at the mall and then I might I don't want traffic I might go ahead and I might go ahead and stop at Sephora because I could tell like my foundation is running out. So I'm going to go over there and buy my foundation 17 minutes away. So let's go ahead and head to the mall. dropping stuff but I'm at Zara I came to get some stuff I'm gonna stop and grab lunch with my boo Sophie uh, we're gonna go to Bloom and Bees and just grab some drinks um I don't really see a lot because you guys know the season is changing so I'm trying to be in and out of this place because I want to make sure I get there on time They have some cute stuff, but y'all know how Zara is sometimes. Let me zoom you guys out. There you go. I feel like I'm logging on a 10 pound dress. This is the area that has like the best stuff. So, you know what? I'm gonna go into the dressing room and see. I look so cute. Such a cute Let's wait for this dressing room so I could just try on these pieces. So, trying on this dress. I think it's cute. It's dark in here. Sorry, I only moved to the light. But it's cute. It's a little short in the back. Just my light. Just my luck. Cute. There we go. So, Alright y'all, so this this is the second one I found is these pants. They come in medium but my hips too big. But the large baby, this is so cute. I'm definitely getting this one for sure. For sure. So cute. I'm gonna go into Sephora real fast, but you guys know they have a camera problem. So I'm gonna go in there and grab my foundation, and then I'm gonna head home. I just got home shortly. I ended up not going to Blue and Bees because I was already running behind on time. But I found some super, super cute items at Zara. Some items were a flop, but I was able to get some pieces. Let me show you guys what I got. And I went to Sephora as well. I still need to take my picture, but I'm gonna do it after rolling is done at the gym. Cause I know he wants to go get his workout on. That boy never misses a workout. So I ain't gonna disrupt him. 
I'm going to start with Sephora first. So the first thing I got at Sephora was my foundation. I did re-up on it. Um, if you guys are curious, I wear Lancome Tonted Ultra Tonto Doll 24 hour um, foundation and I wear it in the 520 suede W really really good that's what I have on right now hence the full coverage I did have to like um, mattify my face so I did that and then while I was just you know in the little area y'all know the little kiosk they always have like cute stuff that you can get so I got the fresh sugar lip polish I think this is the mini size one I'm gonna do that on my lips before I head out. So I got this one, which I can't wait to try. And then I just picked up a Laneige lip balm. I got the original color, which is this one. I love Laneige. Laneige. It's really, really, really nice. And then I picked up these pants. <gasps> How cute! Ooh, this this on me what's to die for i had to i had to get it i just had to get it so i picked this one up let me show y'all looks like this it is so cute i love how it fits on me i might have to go and get the waist taken in but i don't know but it looks so good and then i picked up this dress as well from zara it is such a cute dress like the only thing is i need to this was 80 bucks. There should be no reason why thread is coming off. I'm going to have to cut that out. But um, I might just go and exchange it when they, when they re-up. But I got this one. I'm going to keep my receipt because I'm seeing like little specks on there that I'm not liking. But I got this dress. It is so cute on. Such a cute dress. I'm going to keep it in the bag though because I think I'm going to exchange this dress for another one because I want to try on a size up and see if um, that fits better um, because that one was super tight because you guys know I'm, I'm busty but anyways I am about to I guess get ready to take this picture um, probably going to straighten my hair some so the America look good in the picture and then we're going to head over to church and i'll probably see you guys later um i'm not gonna be doing anything else this week roland and i do have a cute little date that i planned for us we're gonna go to this place called sur le table sur le table and we are gonna be cooking they're gonna be teaching us how to cook so that should be super cute and super fun Ooh, excuse me so i'll see you guys later hi guys so we are about to go to memorial city mall because remember i told you guys that i needed to size up on my dress that i got from zara so i'm gonna be going to memorial city because i went to go look on zara.com and that's the only place that has the size that i need so i will be going there to go pick it up and then we're gonna go to target because i need to get some body wash and i also need to buy um bath salt because i am cramping and i feel like crap and i want to be in a tub full of relaxing salt and bubble baths so i'm gonna stop at target to go pick it up um, i'm about to head out now before it gets too crazy and then later on me and roland are gonna go to 99 ranch to go get some ingredients for thai food i'm craving some thai food you want some thai food I really want some Thai food. So I'll also give you guys the recipe for my Thai food. So before it gets too late, let me go ahead and head on out. to be in and out I got exactly what I wanted and they have my size yeah I zoomed in I got exactly what I wanted and they had my size and this mall is the best because nobody's here so it wasn't like crazy I think I'm not gonna be going to Galleria to 
buy clothes at Zara anymore. I'm gonna come right here to gallery. I mean, um, Memorial, cause it's slower. It's not as hectic. I'm able to get my stuff in and out. Super simple. Now I'm about to go get these rings. I want to get them. And I'm going to see if I could bargain. But hopefully they don't see my camera. Because sometimes they be trying to upsell. But if I could get two rings for $20. That would be chef's kiss. Amazing. So let's. Okay, the person's back. No? Where are they? Okay, they're back. So let me see if I could bargain with this guy. And get this ring for the low. That one is nice too. It's so hard. It's gorgeous. It is nice. It doesn't. Okay. What well, I'm gonna treat you give me for three. Normal price is. Oh, thank you. I'll take it. They're really nice. I'm gonna put them on later. I'm gonna show you guys the rings that he had. He has some other cute ones, but these ones, the ones I have are the cutest. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Let me see. So these are the rings I got. They're so cute. I love them a lot. Probably gonna put this loved one by my wedding ring but now that I'm done I'm about to go to Target to go get some hygiene stuff I don't want to get copyrighted so I'll see you guys once I get to Target I came to Target to get something I do want to re-up on some stuff my bath soap um, and my um, I think it's not Dr. Kills oh there it is so I need to re-up on my bath salt and I need to re-up on my bubble bath soap so I'm in Target I'm just gonna run through here, grab everything that I need. So I just got back home. I'll show you guys the pieces I got. I kind of want to try them on because I didn't try on the items that I bought. I didn't try on the items that I bought last time. So I'll probably try it on for you guys shortly so you guys can see what I got. I got I got one more item because I thought it was cute. I thought it would be cute for church. Um, I picked up a package from Mojo extreme mojo hold so i love this lady's stuff i always use it um i use use her glue but she made new um she has new stuff on her site so the first thing that she sent me was the relax wax stick this for hair all hair types i really like how it looks and like the way she made this you could tell that she actually took her time and effort into making this wax stick it's super nice i like that it has like a little wax um, cover so your wax doesn't like get all nasty and you can just put that on top whenever you're done and the lid 
you tighten it so that was really nice and then she also sent me the glue mover spray so i'll be using this to take off my wig yeah i know i used the other one i forgot what its name was called but i think it's c2 i normally use that one so i can't wait to try this one i'll probably try it out tomorrow because i'll be swapping out my wig and putting on a new one I want to I want to um, rock my RPG show wig so I'll be swapping that out and she also sent me a lace pen so this is what you use to like darken your um, roots whenever you like over bleach or anything so that's the first thing that I got in the mail so thank you so much Mojo Extreme Hold for sending me that and the second thing I got is this box I don't know where this is from it says um, DG care screen skin care fulfillment so I think this is um, DHC I think I think I think <gasps> Dr. Dennis Cross first of all thank you guys um, they had emailed me a while back like probably a month and a half ago and they asked me for my address and I was like okay you know like i was like okay um so i give them my address and they sent me the, oh i'm using this tonight girl we're gonna use this tonight hallelujah look at god <laughs> i'm beaming i'm buzzing i'm so excited okay okay okay, 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 okay. first of all look at the box Ooh, ooh, ooh! look at her nice bright and orange child this is you know honestly i get so down on myself i uh, whenever i go mia i'm probably spending time with god but also like i get so down on myself i think i'm not doing good enough i think i'm flopping i think i'm well not flopping never giving flop never never giving flop but i feel like i'm not doing as good as i would want to but then like i see where i'm coming from and how hard i work to get to where i am and that's literally my motivation to keep going like under no circumstances can i stop because what else where else would i work like i've been wanting to be an influencer since forever and i'm finally like an influencer that's making money from this stuff and like i'm gonna give up no oh what would i what would i tell my child oh if things aren't going your way you should just give up no keep going if it gets hard go and keep going and pray to god God should you and God should be like this. Y'all should be like Paddy, like this. Close knit. And when you that close with God, you just know everything's gonna work out. You just know everything's gonna work out. I know my walk with God is only like been a month, honestly. I I was a Christian. Well, I, I am a Christian and I was walking with God, but I honestly don't think I was fully walking with God because I was still dabbling in the world. And honestly, you can't serve two masters. And that's just the truth. Like, you can't say you're for God and then still smoking, still drinking, still participating in the things of the world and the things that God doesn't want us to do like you can't serve two masters so like i literally had to like just be like okay i'm done listening to secular music i have to because honestly even the music that they're putting out right now is very demonic and very evil like the world is very evil right now like so demonic so dark so evil like that's not that's not what i'm trying to be i'm, I'm not trying to be low vibrational at all so yeah like i just a month ago is when i literally just like surrendered everything to god and i decided to just take on carrying my cross like take on my cross and be serious with my walk with god like i feel as though like it's been great and i feel like i'm not i'm not depressed i'm not sad i don't go through that like yeah i haven't been going through that like stuff that i used to worry about i don't worry about it anymore which is crazy because that just that just tells you how good god is the fact that you could be worried about something when you were in the world crazy and then like you give your life to god and then you just really like spend time with him like when i did my um my sunday routine and i say that i literally pick up my bible the first thing i do is read my bible before i do anything i literally do that like i'm not it's not a facade because i've noticed the difference is made in the person i am i've noticed how i've been feeling better i don't feel anxious i don't feel worried i don't feel scared like i just wanted to share that with you guys um oh it's so hot <laughs> but yeah uh, i have to sneeze <laughs> oh, bless me so so dr dennis gross sent me this cute 
so cute. I have to take let me take let me take my pictures so I can put on my thumbnail. Like when you're making thumbnails, the aesthetics has to give. You know, I said about the aesthetics. <laughs> The aesthetics has to give, girl. The aesthetics has to give. It has to give what it is to give, child. It has to give what it is to give. How cute. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you, Dr. Dennis. Gross. This is cool. Um, so, um, it comes with the serum moisturizer, which I'm going to be using tonight. Maybe not tonight because I um, wear my treadmill and that. And then... Vi vi the 15% vitamin C firm bright serum so oh this is so nice this is so freaking nice thank you so much Dr. Dennis Christ. I didn't expect this to come today thank you um so let's go see what you know I bought let me share with you guys what I bought I was listening to praise and worship all the way to uh, to the house. I was the girl. Listen, one thing about Jesus culture, Kim Walker. When I first got saved, I loved Jesus culture, and so when I regave my regave my life to Christ, um, listening to those praise and worship, be having you just happy. If you are struggling in your faith and you're struggling in trying to walk, um, on the path of God, or you don't even know where to start, honestly, start from Genesis. The Bible is a love story and I didn't understand it before when people used to be like the Bible is a love story. The Bible literally is a love story and is it's a love story of how much God loves his children, how much God loves us, how patient he is, how he hates disobedience, how he just wants us to obey him, to honor him, to respect them, to love him. That's all God wants. When you're able to understand that, you understand why God wants us to walk in the path of righteousness, why God doesn't want us to be doing things that are carnal or participating in the things of this world because this world is going in a very dark 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 place and whether people want to act like you don't see it it definitely is there's never been a time like this that's ever existed and it 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 matches with prophecy in the bible so um if you are struggling i definitely say like start from genesis and pray like ask god to ordain your steps that's one thing i used to say is like god ordain my steps even when i was like backsliding and i was in the world like I always ask God to ordain my steps and to make sure that I'm walking in the right path. Like, you know, it's not easy, but once you make that decision that, okay, I'm done. I'm not dealing with the world. It's like you literally have to be, I literally was, I was at the lowest and I was, I was sad and I didn't understand it. And it wasn't like I was making a lot of money. I was, everything was good, but I just felt empty on the inside. Like I felt super empty and I couldn't, I just could not put, wrap my mind around it. Like what's making me feel so empty. I did not want to go out with my friends. I did not want to go turn up. I didn't like, I got invited places. I didn't want to go. I would always just want to be home and lay down and I'll see time just pass. And I'm just like, bro, this is crazy. So um, I had an encounter with a friend and we like she told me a lot about God and she brought me closer to God. God will always send people to direct you into the right path and I think that that's what God did. He sent somebody into my life, my friend Sunray. Shout out to her. That's what I hung out with. Um, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put her stuff down in the description down below if you guys want to like watch her. She's really dope. But um, yeah, like god will bring somebody in your life to like direct you in the right path and direct you you know to come closer to him god is so amazing like god is such a loving god he's such a great god and he really just wants to like he wants his children to obey him and love him and that's it but yeah so i just wanted to share that with you guys let me go try on the clothes that i bought so i don't know what's going on with zara maybe the girl is just getting too thick because a large a large me and say it's my butt and my hips it's not even the top there's a large like top wise medium the lower body large i was like it's getting out of hand so i've been working out like at first i wasn't i'm not gonna lie i was I, i've been like when i was down and i was sad and i was feeling you know with that emptiness i was laying down i was not going to the gym like at all and I gained weight so um I'm gonna lose that weight like I'm not playing no games um I did I didn't go to the gym today but I have been going to the gym like I try to go to the gym every other day so four days out the week um I also I've cut 
um, I've tried to cut meat out of my diet and I'm trying to cut sugar out of my diet but I don't drink milk I only drink um, oat milk and yeah I'm really trying to get my weight together because I'm not trying to be like I, I like being thick but girl not that thick like that's ridiculous anyways let me show you guys one of the pants that I got um yesterday because I didn't show you guys the pants I didn't try it on for you guys and then I'm gonna show you guys this cute dress and I also bought this top for church so I'm gonna show you guys shortly okay so this is the first item I picked up is these pants they're so cute they look so nice it's giving grown and sexy like hello so cute um I am gonna have to go get it taken in in the waist but y'all see this is a large but the waist is a medium but the hip a large um i like how it just falls i love the color this with a white you know bodysuit chite it would freaking go crazy and then it has pockets as well so i definitely need to find a tailor i'm gonna find the tailor here in houston that could help like to get this taken in because it's so cute i don't want it to like just be loose look how much gap i have supposed to be like shoom, snatch so i'm gonna get it taken in but yeah this one's cute i did get this one in a in a large um the medium couldn't fit my hips even now i don't know why they made it like this maybe it's supposed to be lower i'm not sure if they want it to be like a low type of thing but it's so uncomfortable on my hips so it can't be low it has to sit high because nah the girl is hipping and my hips are spread it's crazy it's so crazy but how cute baby yes this is cute <laughs> this is so cute let me try on the second item i got all right next fit is this dress it's so cute i like honestly okay so i got the medium right but with the medium it was like it was it was it fit right but it was too tight i need to be able to move like i need to be able to move so what i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna like unbutton it because you could button it it's a, a full-on button-up dress. I'm gonna unbutton it and just keep a, the button right here and just do like a nice, I don't know, wine night or something. Like, I don't know. When it's all the way buttoned down, it's definitely giving pilgrim. <laughs> but it's such a cute dress. I like that I feel comfortable in this one. I'm gonna put a video of how it looked, the medium one. I'm gonna put the video of the medium one on the side so y'all can see it because it just looked too tight. Um, but this one fits just sorry this one fit just right like just right it is so cute hello and it goes all the way to my my wrist yeah yeah this is cute i wish roland was here so i could show him i'll probably show him in the video because the medium one he was like yeah it's too tight he was like me but not show too much cleavage i said i hear you daddy I yeah, but yeah, this is so cute. All right, let me try on the last top that I picked up. All right, so last and final item I picked up is this top. I don't have a bra on. I just have my pasties on. But if I had a bra on, it'll be actually. You know what? Let me put on my light so y'all can see how good this looks. This room is not giving, so I needed to give. I needed to give, sis. It's like, no, let me stop. That's how you know. Like, I'm really, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm acting like a crackhead right now because I just feel so good. I listen to some praise and worship all the way home. What the heck? Okay, so I don't know why my tripod is irritating me. I bought shopping. I've been shopping. No, it's actually very distracting. Sorry, y'all. So let me see if I could brighten this okay so i got this um this shirt from azara i actually paired it up with these J Lux label trousers that i bought a while back when i went shopping um they're so cute they like look so good together i'll probably just tuck it in and then have the trousers sitting up and wear with some heels you know me like i'm gonna swag it out okay now look at all the clothes that i bought that i haven't worn I just love shopping it's fun but anyways yeah so i got this top for actually 22 dollars i got i did get this one in a size medium and it actually fits 
really really well i probably could have gotten away with the small but i'm fine with the medium and yeah that's all the things that i got let me show you guys the stuff that i picked up from target i think you guys can so i didn't put the stuff away um when i got in but i'll show you guys quickly so i picked up this olay fresh outlast in the notes birch water and lavender it smells so good like it smells so 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 good like this was the last one they had when i smelled it i was like i could see why there was only one left and then i got the olay body rinse off body conditioner i see a lot of people on tiktok talk about this so i wanted to give it a try and it smells good as well and anything that will make me smell good why not and then i picked up my dr tills oh crap my Dr. Tills foaming bath. I got the Epsom salt, which I have under my sink. I don't think you guys need to see that. Neither do you guys care to see that. And then I picked up the Olay Fresh Outlast in the Nose Orchid and Black Current. And this one also smells good. <sighs> it smells so good. I can wait to use this one once the one i have finishes and those are all the things that i picked up from target i didn't really go too crazy um i'm gonna try to pick up some more stuff i had taken a break from actually i deleted my twitter again i always delete my twitter i delete my twitter and then i come back on but twitter just be annoying because everybody all they talk about is sex like bro grow up y'all got nothing better to do like cook clean i don't know but all they talk about is sex so i was just like you know what i just need a break from that app and then I deleted my TikTok because it was a distraction. It was becoming a distraction. I was spending too much time on it, so I needed a break from that. Um, but I will be back there on there very soon so I could find some like new products to purchase. Because, I mean, why not? I like buying new stuff. So I'm about to go to 99 Ranch Wheel Railroad and then... Once he comes back from the gym, I'm going to go to 99 Ranch and then we're going to go and make dinner. So we have to go grocery shopping. Alright, let's make a list. I'm craving Thai basil fried rice for dinner. Um, so we need to go to the Asia store. We're going to go to 99 Ranch to go pick up some food. Um, we have most of the ingredients in the house already, so we're not going to be buying everything. Um, but we are going to need, like, shrimp. What else do we need, babe? Basil. Fried rice. Basil fried rice. <laughs> I know. Um, shrimp, basil. We have rice already. Oh yeah, the peppers. I wonder what they're called. Let me go get one. Alright, I'm gonna get some red and green chilies. Oh, it's holy Thai leaves. Holy basil Thai leaves. And large red chilies. What else? I think that's it. Ooh, let's see if they have a mortar for pounding pepper. Oh, and I'm just being extra. So now that I have my list, we are about to head out before the sun goes down. It's about 20 minutes away from here, so it should be a fun drive.
bought a bunch of groceries. The thing I'm excited, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm excited about shortly. Mm. I'm super excited about this little mortar. So it's used to like mash up peppers. Um, I'll show you guys the groceries that I bought. Pepper. We bought big old bottle of the wine. These bags, they come in handy. This is all the groceries that we got. We got some onions, some Thai chili red pepper, some basil. This is Thai basil, which is really good if you're making Thai basil fried rice. Some big old red chili, which I think this is for garnish. And this is what I'm excited about. It's a mortar and a pastel. So this is gonna be what I'm gonna use to mash my garlic and my um, onions and pepper in. And then I got like two steel bowls. This is my second time making Thai basil fried rice. This is my second time making Thai basil fried rice. I've made it before, but I didn't have all the ingredients. But this time I have all the ingredients, except for one I'm missing, but it's okay. I don't think I need it. But this is my second time making Thai basil fried rice. And I know it's gonna turn out bomb because I think I got the ingredients right. I think. Now there's this one place in Fort Worth 
um, that make it the best Thai basil fried rice and I can't have it. They have it in Houston, but I haven't had like authentic bomb Thai basil shrimp fried rice. So of course I'll make it myself. I love cooking. So this ingredient was super fun to like do. Mm -hmm. So, moment of truth. I'm just this Thai basil fried rice. It tastes like how they sell it. Mm. So dinner was so good. I can't believe I made Thai food. Like that's crazy and it tasted exactly like Thai food. I don't think I'm going to be buying any Thai food ever again. I'm just going to make it myself. Roland really enjoyed it. He's taking a shower right now. I am currently answering some emails before I go to bed because the Asian companies I work with, they are awake at night because of our time difference. So. I'm just responding to some emails right now and I just wanted to say goodnight to you guys. I washed my face. I didn't use the um the Dennis Gross tonight but I am going to use it tomorrow morning because I have tretinoin on my skin and I can't wear tretinoin with a extra vitamin C literally at night. I only wear tretinoin and um, whatchamacallit and bio oil like that's all I wear tretinoin and bio oil at night morning time that's when i could like you know i didn't miss you up but whew, i'm full i'm tired i'm all ate up i'm already good so i'm about to go to bed and i'll see you guys in the morning <laughs>